Capri on the fever. Capri on the grace been in the Philippines for the past one and a half weeks, I presume. And what a presence. She is stronger than the strongest typhoon that has ever hit the Philippines. <laughs> She was a wonderful sight. She's been jumping and dancing and yelling and smiling and waving and she really is performing, you know, for the people. She really shows her great appreciation to the love and support that we have been giving to her. And that makes her lovable. Even without those drums, even without those, you know, ethnic music that has been filling up the air for, our, for, for those two days that she's been parading. She would still create an impact. She would still create joy. She would still create those, you know, the festival atmosphere because she is festival herself. Well, it might be exaggerated, but you know, she was such a great attraction. And it's true, you know, you don't see Catriona anymore. You know, before I, I was very loud when I say that, or when I said that, uh, you don't see Catriona anymore. You, 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 you saw a Miss Universe. Now, you don't see Catrion as Miss Universe anymore. You see a national pride waving at you, smiling at you. <laughs> if I really had my way, I could have been there and personally witness, you know, that Catriona power. When I go to the Philippines in April, she won't be there anymore. But in case she would be there, I would move heaven and earth to meet her. <laughs> of course. And the world seems to like it. You know, the world seems to monitor her every move, her every performance, her every personal appearance. The world knows everything about her. And I love it. Of course, each and every one of us loves it. That the universe supports Catriona. But let's be reminded all the time that Catriona is not only our queen. She is the queen of the universe. So, <laughs> let's Okay, let's stop this super kuda anymore and let's go straight now to the highlights of Catriona Gray's Miss Universe Homecoming to the Philippines. Let's go. She's a queen, but you treat her as your friend because she acts like your friend. There's no barrier, there's no wall between you and her. You know, that's how I see it. Her beauty, graciousness, and warmth penetrate your body. Talang <laughs> super crowded. Iniwanan niya yung kanilang mga trabaho. Iniwanan niya yung kanilang mga jowa. Pati mga macho, kitang kita mo, di ba? Kung pinakita ka mga magsusyota, yung boyfriend mas mataas pang lumundag. Di ba? For those who were there, you have personally witnessed it. That everyone really was so gaga over Gabriona, right? Everyone was ecstatic to see her. Walang becks, walang straight. <laughs> diba? Nakakatawa. <laughs> diba? I was touched when her parents came out during the uh, Raise Your Flag event. I was not in favor of the Raise Your Flag song just being given or, or presented to her. I... Because it's, it's hers. Because it's, it's her idea. It's her intellectual property. <laughs> she announced to the whole universe that she should, you know, that if there's a song that she would like to write, then it would be, you know, Raise Your Flag or a title or something to that effect. Yeah, let me review it again. Song about your experience here in this universe, what would you call it? Well, 
Well, you know what, Steve? As a Miss Philippines, I've always felt the love and the support of the Filipino people. Okay, so I was right. The question was if you were going to write a song. So, you know, it should be a collaborative effort with her. She might have been given the chance to write that song. And just let's just the whole world listen to it, you know, some other time or maybe next year when she goes back to the Philippines. It doesn't matter when. The most important thing there is that she was given the chance to write that song that she conceptualized. You know, don't get me wrong. I like KZ and Dingan. Watch my reviews about KZ and everything was positive. I like the voice. I think she's a rare gem in the Philippine music industry. It's just that I personally wish to hear that Raise Your Flag song penned by Kat Riona. If not performed. I don't care if KZ performs it. What's important is that Kat Riona realizes her dream to write that Raise Your Flag song. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who feels that way, but uh, I really want Kat Riona to write it for, for, you know, for all of us. Bamboo's voice is great. I'm not a fan of Bamboo, but, you know, his vocal performance at night was simply great. I liked it. I have never seen my Mai Entrata before, but don't get me wrong, I've been hearing her name for almost a year now. I'm not into, you know, after Aldabin Katniel and music and movie reviews once in a while. I'm not really into show business because it might confuse my, you know, channel supporters. So I just concentrate on pageants. So I don't really pay attention to local artists and local stars uh, at this point. But my Mai's name is quite popular in the Philippines now. And with her participation here, the rumor that she might play Kat Riona in one episode of the Philippines' longest-running drama anthology, MMK, might happen soon. I, 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 she's not the, the traditional, you know, beauty that we have in our mind, but for me, she's beautiful. I, I like her. So beauty queens are there, like our representatives of the Miss Universe, and uh, I got excited seeing Venus Ra, because the first shout out that I have ever received in my vlogging career was one from Venus Ra, sent to me by, by a friend. And I really like Venus Ra. I, I believe that she is, she should always be given special attention by all the Pinoy pageant aficionados. <laughs> or a special place in our hearts. Because she opened the doors for this, you know, great winnings that we have been having for the past nine years. So she's a sort of a lucky charm. <laughs> and she's really stunningly beautiful. Don't you agree? <laughs> Fia Wurzbeck was so queenly, was so beautiful. She's got a great dress. Unfortunately, it seems that she feels uncomfortable wearing it. You know, the dress seems so tight to her. So you could see her difficulty in executing it. You could see the difficulty in walking. You could see the difficulty in carrying the gown. Can't be honest. Catriona's wearing the gown, the lava gown that she wore during the Miss Universe pageant was something that I didn't envision <laughs> to happen. You know, it was the farthest thing from my mind that she would wear it. But it was a great idea. It made the people really so look look at that night. <laughs> it's as if as there was a stampede in there. <laughs> yung kiliting ibinibigay nito sa atin na sumusubebe kay Catriona. <laughs> Para na ako. <laughs> she really gave her all to entertain the crowd. To give back. You know, that's the best term to use there. She's giving back. What else? There's uh, Boya Bunda there. There's Vice Ganda there. Vice Ganda has created laughter as usual here and there, but I think Boya Bunda would be enough in an occasion like that. I mean, Vice Ganda was great, Boya Bunda was great, but what is enough for that? And let's just 
bring Catriona to Gandanga Device. What do you think? What else? So that's it. When you see all of these videos, particularly during the parade, you see an idol that deserves your adulation. You see a beauty queen that raises the Philippine flag even without holding anything, even without holding a flag. Because it's already attached to her. The love of the nation is already synonymous to Catriona. And that makes her more endearing to all of us. That makes her more special to each and every Filipino. And our support and our love is not wasted. Maraming salamat sa iyo, Catriona. And I hope there will be more Catrionas to follow your steps. To raise the Philippine flag to a higher level. Higher than ever. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat. This is your friend Robato. Sa kaligat ko sa imas. And... Uh, Please don't forget to subscribe at mabuhay ang Pilipino.